Warning, coarse language. Warning, coarse language. Please listen to this, and I'll be right back. But he ain't trying to mess up that check. I'm, I'm just, like, just like you. You don't defend black women. <laughs> you saw how comfortable he was with saying that? It, it rolled right on now. He said it with no hesitation because he knew he was not going to get checked. Black men that would have checked him and would have stopped him dead in his tracks are a minority. The overwhelming majority would not have said anything. He feels so comfortable with saying that because he know ain't nobody going to say nothing to me. But this is the image that y'all have created. This is the image that y'all continuously curate. And y'all think that nobody is seeing this and that nobody else is paying attention. That's why they know they can disrespect black women and ain't nobody gonna say nothing because you're not gonna say anything. He felt, he said that right to that man's face. As for Gary Owens, I've never found him funny. Gary Owens has one joke and the punchline is always black women. That's his joke every time. But do you see how, when you make people comfortable, how comfortable they get? And for the black men that are watching this, or the ones that are impressionable, the ones that are young, don't be like Shannon Sharp. Don't play pussy for a check. Y'all are always worried about y'all masculinity. That was emasculating right there. He he stripped off and he let him know in that in that moment. You ain't you ain't tough. You don't do that. You don't stand up. Can y'all dusty low text bracket ass coon ass niggas get the out my comment section trying to tell me what that white man white man didn't say? As if my video didn't indicate that it does not matter what he said or didn't say, that it's not about him. It's about y'all, y'all, and the disagreement with that statement alone. You disagree with the value of black women. That's what I want you to focus on. It specifically donated that this is no promotion of white men. It specifically pointed at y'all in disagreement with the value of black women to whether they be wives or even be valued out of babies and coochie and shit instance i need you not to focus on the white man okay it's not the white man in this instance okay i needed you to know that and i don't know if it's a lack of comprehension skills or maybe i can blame george bush for the george bush for pushing some of y'all forward in george bush and that maybe some of y'all should never receive that diploma at 17 18 when in fact you should have remained in high school till 26 so you can actually understand and how to comprehend but my video was strategic in the things that i was saying to understand that this is about you and your degradation and your devalue of black women all by your Essentially, what this did actually is prove, like I said in my video, that you're continuously getting tricked by the same white men that are teaching you to degrade. But let me just give you a little history so you can understand why some of y'all, some of y'all black men have this notion so ingrained. You would think it started with the white European, but it did not actually. It started with the Arab slave trade when the Arabs came in and cut your boats off and then turned to you and convinced you to degrade the black African woman. African women at the same damn time going behind your back and copulating with her initially without consent. Y'all let that happen because he had already convinced you to degrade the black woman and it went so far that eventually they didn't even have to cut your nuts off y'all was cutting them off yourselves and handing it to them for what you thought was better positioning at the same damn time they went around arabizing the they went around and arabized the whole area stole all your resources all your kingdoms and shit and shit went across the east and the north all the way going into the west and then and then upon arrival by the white european they taught them the same thing on how to get to you you and i promise you while you're concerned about a white man the first thing the thing you really need to be concerned about is the white man that's been fucking your brain for centuries now okay that's got his dick got his dick all in your cortex until this day you still find elation in the degradation of the women in your community very very entities and demographic in your community that's responsible for your life when you can convince somebody to degrade that which brings them life in the community that brings forth their life that's how you win that's how you end them that's how you continuously keep their community subjugated and ex exploited okay that's the strategy and that's the strategy of white men at this anybody that knows it anybody knows their playbook it's me and i'm telling you right now that's the strategy the only person that can stop that strategy is y'all and some black men have some black men have dislodged the white man's cock from in his head and they are the ones that are in agreement with that statement of value for black women and black wives they are actually saying no matter what that white man said no matter what that white man said or didn't say the statement still stands there are black are black men and black husbands it's only y'all dusties the dusties that are still convinced to this day to continuously cut your own nuts off and hand it to them that are in these black women's faces trying to argue and feeling elation at their degradation it's still y'all and i will repeat like i said in my video for black women to go where you are valued outside of your babies and cooch find somebody that values you in totality a human being a full human being which includes your which includes your black essence by the way okay for you dusty asses that got pushed ahead faster than you should have i'm gonna take your ass back to school and advise you like i do to crackers that i talk to deconstruct and find yourself in history find yourself in history and recognize negative behavior patterns and patterns and how the hell they were able to do what they did recognize the play on the chessboard that they played on you that you're consistently still to this day getting tricked you're still to this day catching checkmates because i promise you the root the root 
root starts with you. The root of the issue started with you. That was the degrade. The very people that bring your community life. Very demographic within your community that brings forth your life. How can you win against the very being that brings forth your life? My nigga, at the end of the day, because my nigga, at the end of the day, that's what you call a checkmate. That's what you call a checkmate. Because until all of this sin of the man is exposed, nothing will change. Because the men have to see where they err and learn how to heal and do right by the women and the children. I believe the brother who first spoke is a product of an absent father and no protected mother. And so once all of this is dealt with, then you're going to understand that you led everyone into this. And once you understand that, you can lead. Shalom, Baruch. So right now, black women are tolerating men who are not there, not looking after the children, not providing much of an income, who say, don't get into my business, who perhaps have multiple other partners and who maybe show up, but there's no promises, there's no words kept, and there's no protection. So now in a situation that is exactly the same, except now it's called polygamy. So now you're asking them for more in the exact same circumstance. What is motivating these men to protect? Go to win12truth.net, get a calendar, subscribe, like, and share this video because people need to know. Love you in Yahuwah. Praise Yah.